25 years after Billy Loomis and Stu Mache's killing spree in Woodsboro, high school student Tara Carpenter, is home alone when she is attacked by Ghostface, and left hospitalized. In Modesto, Tara's estranged older sister Sam Carpenter, is informed by Wes Hicks, one of Tara's friends about the attack. Sam returns to Woodsboro with her boyfriend Richie Kirsch, to visit Tara at the hospital, where Sam is reunited with Tara's friend group. Wes, Amber Freeman, twins Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin, and Liv McKenzie. That night, Liv's ex-boyfriend Vince Schneider, who is Stu's nephew, is killed by Ghostface. After an encounter with Ghostface at the hospital, Sam tells Tara that she has been dealing with hallucinations of Billy, who Sam learned as a teenager was her biological father. Sam's true parentage resulted in their parents' separation, and this is why Sam became estranged from Tara. Sam and Richie visit Dewey Riley, who is divorced from Gail Weathers. They ask for his help in stopping the killer, and he contacts Gail and Sidney Prescott, warning them about the return of Ghostface. Dewey joins them at Mindy and Chad's home, and is reunited with the twins' mother, Martha, Randy Meek's sister. With the three attacks being on people related in some capacity to the original killers, Mindy deduces that the killer is following the rules of a requel. A continuation of a narrative that derives heavily from the plot of the original, while using Tara and her friends as the new generation, and using Sam's connection to Billy as a way to weave the legacy characters. Ghostface then murders Wes, and his mother, Sheriff Judy Hicks, at their home. Dewey reunites with Gail, who has arrived in town to cover the story. At the hospital, Dara and Richie are attacked by Ghostface, but are saved by an arriving Dewey and Sam. Sam, Tara and Richie escape, but Dewey is killed when he attempts to finish off Ghostface. Sydney arrives in town, after learning of Dewey's death, and meets both Gail and Sam at the hospital. Sydney asks Sam to help stop the killer, but Sam declines, choosing to leave town with Richie and Tara. Sydney and Gail follow the trio to Amber's, which is revealed to be Stu's former home, where the original Woodsboro massacre took place. While a party is in progress to honor Wes memory, Chad and Mindy are both attacked by Ghostface. As the friend group convenes, Amber pulls out a gun and shoots Liv in the head, revealing herself as the killer. Sydney and Gail arrive, and Richie is revealed as Amber's accomplice. He stabs Sam, and he and Amber take Sam, Sydney, and Gail into the kitchen, where Sydney had first faced off against Billy and Stu. Richie and Amber reveal they are fans of the Stab film series who met online. Disappointed in the trajectory taken with the most recent Stab 8, they decided to embark on a new killing spree, bringing back the original cast to provide new and improved source material for a future requel Stab film, and intend to frame Sam as the killer. Sam attacks Richie, and Tara attacks Samber, but is incapacitated. Richie goes after Sam, while Sydney and Gail fight Amber together, ending with Gail breaking free, and shooting Amber, who lands on a turned on stove and is set on fire. Richie pursues Sam, who sees another hallucination of Billy, which brings her attention to Amber's abandoned knife. Embracing her paternal heritage, she uses the knife to stab Richie repeatedly, before shooting and killing him. A horribly burnt Amber attempts to attack the group again, but is shot to death by Tara. Tara and the Meeks twins are loaded into ambulances to be taken to the hospital, and Sam thanks Sydney and Gail for their help. Gail promises not to write a new book about the new murders and give the killers notoriety, opting to write a tribute to Dewey instead. Sam joins Tara in the ambulance, and the night's events are covered in a news report. 